covering Aurora now. A man shot by Aurora police at his own home has now been identified. 73-year-old Richard Gary Black was killed when police responded on reports of an intruder inside of a home. Police believe that Black killed that intruder. Our Rick Sounder joins us. Rick Sounder was out at the scene near Montview and Iola for us earlier and brings us this report. What happened here can only be described as sad and tragic. An intruder apparently broke into this home, was shot to death by the homeowner. A child was injured. Neighbors like Susan Oskel were friends with the man who lived there. Gary was protecting his family and the intruder was in there. I understand police have nanoseconds to react to anything that transpires. Police are releasing little about the incident except the basics. Officers arrived on scene and heard gunfire. Short time later, officers confronted an armed male who was armed with a firearm. The crime scene investigation involved personal protective suits. A representative of the victim's family was on hand. Several neighbors say people from a nearby home may have known the man identified as the intruder. A car was towed away from out in front of that home shortly after the shooting. Steve Ponikiski heard the commotion and came out. The gunshots from the intruder versus the police officer showing up were so quick that, and it's so dark over there. I think the police officer may have made the right choice in his life situation. Police emphasize this investigation will take time, something they are examining from all angles. Sid Hartha, Ratha, the attorney for the victim's family, says a naked man went up to the door, kicked it in, went inside, grabbed an 11-year-old boy and tried to strangle and drown him. The grandfather then got up, was hit in the head with a vase. He grabbed a gun and shot the intruder twice. The wife of the homeowner called police, told the Aurora police what her husband was wearing, but there was apparently some confusion when they arrived. Live on Montview in Aurora, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Rick. Well,